Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. And we have a really special show for you guys today. America is built on candy. And candy is built on Hollywood. And following in the footsteps of other branded movies like the Lego movie and um, the Power Rangers movie, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, there is, of course, the Swedish Fish movie. Today we sit down with four of the members of the creative team who created, came up with, and helped produce the Swedish Fish movie. Coming to theaters 2023, take a dive into a sneak peek of the Swedish Fish movie from the creative team themselves. Let's listen in. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Hi. Keep hey, 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 hello, hey, hello, hey, America, hey. hey, California, hey, New York, hey, Hong Kong, Indiana, where I'm from, hey, Indiana, good to hear you, good to see you, great to see you, great to hear you from Indiana, if you're in Boise, Idaho, hello, hello, if Denver. you're in Hartford, Connecticut, hello, Hi. and if you're from a little town we call Las Vegas, a uh, hello. Oh, wow. It is our first press junket. I don't know if you guys can tell. We're so excited about this uh -huh. movie. Uh -huh. Team Swedish Fish, hashtag go. <laughs> hashtag go. Hashtag go. That's what we said. That's what we said before every meeting. Hey. This is the deep end for us. A little Swedish fish joke. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we're swimming. We're swimming. We're swimming. swimming in the fish do as well. We're so excited. Team Swedish fish. Team Swedish fish. Woo! Hashtag go. Hashtag go. Okay, everybody. Uh, my name is Candy Fish of the Swedish Fish Corporation, but also of movie producing. That's my girl. Hey, guys. I'm Brandy Swedish of the Swedish Fish Family Incorporation and of the movie. Yeah. Uh, what's up? My name is Tony T. I'm not a fish, <laughs> <laughs> but I am part of the creative team. Uh, really excited to be involved. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm working on the Swedish fish movie. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> and hey, what's up, guys? I'm Doug, and I am part of the Swedish fish movie. Uh, not, no affiliation to the family, just one of the writers and creators. I've worked in a lot of animated films, and I'm happy to dig my, my feet, my toes, and my teeth. Into this one. In my gills. Ah! A little Swedish fish joke. Oh, <laughs> because nice. of the fish. That's so no, funny. For sure. We at our family love, love, love to hear that. My sister and I love to hear fish You guys are sisters. Jokes. Yeah, right? We, we are, are sisters. sisters. Different last names, but very but much we're sisters. sisters. No, we're sisters. No, so we're we both, sisters. So I am, uh, we are, we are half sisters. Yes. Awesome. Um, I'm from my dad's side of the family, the Swedish side. Yeah, and I'm from my mom's side of the family, which is the fish side. And before they got a divorce, they created this candy. They created Swedish fish. And the, we still own, I still own 40% uh, of the company. You own 40%. The rest is sprinkled amongst us. Uh, some board members. Private equity. Some private equity. It, it, it's <laughs> funny because I've actually read about when your parents got together. Well, your respective uh, mother and father got together and wasn't the inspiration for the entire corporation, the entire candy. It was because of the wedding announcement, correct? Mm -hmm. Swedish fish wedding. And people saw that and said that sounds like a candy is that am it's i saying that correctly it's true everyone you saw are. the phrase swedish fish, fish and they thought yummy yummy candy they thought yummy tummy candy they thought, they thought fish sugar from sweden was candy. candy and are you guys swedish no, no. Are you guys fish? No. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That that's would funny, be Doug. crazy. Thanks. That would be crazy. But we do think that we could write authentically to the Swedish fish uh, experience. I think that that was something that we were super, super, super excited about. And we were so excited to work with because we're, you know, we're film people. But um, to be able to work so closely with something so affiliated with our family and to be able to bring you guys onto mm -hmm. the team was you so. You freaking weirdos. You oh. guys are. Stop. These Stop. guys' Stop brains, it. you guys, no, are no. unlike Come on. any no. brain I've ever they seen. They work like crazy. Well, you we've guys. actually worked on a couple films before together. We uh, we do a lot of animated films together. You know, A lot so of animated films. We work with a lot of different brands. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of different brands. And we were just so excited to get in the room to pitch to you guys kind of our idea of where we could 
could take the story, you know, because the Swedish fish, you know, people don't think a beautiful narrated animated story about love, about brotherhood, about finding yourself. Exactly. But we were just so excited to sit down with you two and tell you guys, you know, this is the vision that we have for your film and for you guys to be so receptive and also get in the writer's room with us. We were so excited to, you know, kind of beat this thing out together. Oh, we, we love doing punch-up. And we, we love oh, doing punch-up. Oh, a punch-up, punch-up. I love pitch. I love a punch. Oh, The ideas I, you guys had mm-hmm. coming in, and you guys, and pinch me if, if, I'm, if I'm lying, but you guys have- Pinch n- me if I'm dreaming. Okay. Wow, pitch, pitch. We have, you guys have never worked creatively on anything before, correct? No! no! <laughs> Nothing, right? No. No! <laughs> When you own 40% of the fish company and 40% of the Swedish Swedish company, company, you uh, don't need to do a lot of things for yourself. But we've always been film buffs. Ever Mm -hmm. since we were kids in our separate houses growing up, we would... (laughs) We would call each other on the phone and we would watch um we would watch the parent trap. Oh, we'd watch the parent trap. And we loved that movie because it was so different because we aren't twins and we aren't actual full sisters, right? Right. Um it, it's like she's my other half, yet she's a part of another family. We don't spend a lot of time together and we live in different houses. You know, and it's like a different And that's what brings us together. together. Mm-hmm. Can I just say I love you guys and I love being around you guys. I love the energy you guys are bringing. It's and so it's- great. It's so wonderful to also get feedback like that because yeah. I feel like when we walked into pitch, <laughs> right. when we walked into pitch, we weren't expecting such a good reception and also so many notes right away. Exactly. Doug. Oh, we and, had a lot of notes. We were actually really surprised. We have never work with a client with as many notes even before the contract was signed Mm -hmm. it was really surprising to us but we've actually found that it's been a really great process and we really enjoyed it yeah i find that uh everywhere my sister and i go we're told you're too much you're too much and we finally finally found our match we finally found our match that's not it that's not you guys were ready you guys were ready and you 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 know i think our first big 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 note that we had was that we wanted to make sure from a brand identity perspective, from a fish perspective, all the Swedish fishes in the bag have different personalities. Right? Because yeah. yeah. that is, as, as my sister and I grow older and learn to take the company in, we regret um, they all have the same half smile. That is a deep regret that we... Um, carry for your parents. They have I a carry on behalf carry of that my parents. Like, uh, my Understood. Poor, it's words, so sad words. just looking back at my mom's life and going the life you could have had if you had if made you, the fishes yes. kind of different colors. Oh, I, I literally am like, Mom, you, you were part of the generation with Snow White and the seven dwarves. How many different types of uh, personalities? We have Sleepy. We have Dopey. What do we have in the fish? One personality and it's called Fish. Fish. Um, so yeah, so when you guys gave us the note, I mean, when we got that in the room, yeah. I don't know if you'll agree with this, but I thought we had no chance of doing this because you guys were oh. so on board, but immediately just ripping apart our first kind exactly. of idea of it. And you came in telling us that kind of uh, fish personality thing right away before you even heard the pitch, mm-hmm. and so we were like, "Oh, they must, she must, they, you know, we got to scramble now. We got to scramble hard." Knew what you were gonna say, yeah, I think. yeah. I think we just had this sense that we knew what you were gonna yeah. say it was gonna because be a lot a- of people have that. Um, yeah, we we're going to do basically sure. Finding well, Nemo, yeah. but Swedish Fish, well, but the, you guys wanted something completely well, different. Look, and so that was our first idea, and we were going to do that. And just a little inside inside us, I don't think we ever actually talked shop like this. Um, but, you know, pitching to brands, we have a lot of ideas in our pockets. Mm-hmm. So we know how to pivot on a swivel. We know what we're doing. We know how to turn. We know how to move. We know how to change. And we'll and be so, – it's kind of – we do these, like, technique eye techniques. Yeah. You know, one wink – Move to the left. Exactly. Two and weeks. sometimes we would give you a note and you would just spin around a full circle in your chair and then come back oh, with a new pitch. Exactly. Oh, it was mm-hmm. so, yeah, yeah. Kind of our like, signature like sometimes move. Sometimes a shimmy when you guys were thinking together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you'd kind of go, yeah. okay. Exactly. And Funnily then you enough, were back. interesting, that's all a secret language. All a secret language. The I thing felt about like it, I got it. Yeah. Okay. I kind of felt like I got well, it. Well, you're in now. Now you know. Yeah, oh, now you know. Sure. But you what know. I will say so the first idea we had, of course, finding Nemo about a Swedish fish, right? And and you started talking about oh no 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 you know one smile this is a big problem for you guys and then the second one we were gonna pitch was a rainbow fish but with Swedish fish where you know all the fish are the same but one of the Swedish fish is different and we pitched that we ended up pitching that and you guys I I, I will say I've never received such positive praise and such excitement from a client mm-hmm. that I was, you know, a potential client when we pitched you guys basically rainbow fish, but with, you know, a Swedish fish. And of course a funny family 
Mm-hmm. You guys, that's you guys what pushed got me for and a my family because we, we had really, just yeah. we had previously right before you guys had walked in. I think your appointment was at 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. And our 9 a.m. was the Duplass brothers. Really? Oh, oh yeah. And that Shoot. meeting, that meeting was chalk on a chalkboard. Yeah, it was chalk on a chalkboard. That's a phrase that that's a phrase <laughs> so that we works? say on our separate families that means my no dad says good. this. Mm. You no know, that means good. expected. It, it means, means get out. It means get out. Get out while the chalk is chalk. Really? Get out while the chalk is chalk because we got a new pitch coming in new pitch new pitch wow that's great to hear because i look up to the duplass brothers so much it's great to hear that you guys chose us instead you know they didn't choose us that's actually what happened they didn't choose us mm, yeah mm. oh we, we should be clear yeah. we said yes to them yes. right away what was their yes. pitch okay. that got you right off the board um, we couldn't really get them to do much because they were like, we're taking this meeting. Yeah, our they sort agents of said, said like, that, as a nice thing, they thought we were going to give them some Swedish fish of yeah. some sort. They uh, thought maybe they'll do a spot or two. And yeah, we were they like, said, no, we want to do a Lego won't movie do type. do that. Yeah. yeah. We said, we want a feature. Um, okay. And they said someone okay. missed. Okay. So their pitch of saying no to us was, okay, they're doing a secret language thing right now. We're good. What does that mean? We're good. We're good. Uh, we're really good. We're good. What does that mean? Both we're of us good. together are very good right now. Okay, so we've been working together for like months, and mm-hmm. you guys haven't been outwardly doing this in like a weird, deceptive way. And I hope we didn't say anything wrong. No, yeah. no, 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 not at all. Let's get to the movie, which I'm really excited to talk about for the yes. fans. I think that's yes. where we need to talk about. Fuck the Duplass brothers. Hey. Exactly. Hashtag let's go Swedish fish. Hashtag, let's go, Swedish go. Fish. hashtag, hashtag go. go. That's hashtag our hashtag go. for the movie. It's hashtag G O. Go. Yeah, yeah. We were very excited to pitch that to the social media department because oh, they were like, they did not get it at the beginning. Yeah, switch up Swedish fish. Can and I just you say, could s- post a picture or a TikTok of you switching up something in your life, and we said no. We want hashtag go, <laughs> and, and they said that doesn't look like it means you anything. You can't legally own that. There was a lot. And they of said, good. listen, if you want to separate these fish's personality, maybe go with something more specific. And we went no, no hashtag. Go. Can I say though, the team over at the Swedish Fish social media, Brie, she is hilarious. So she's funny. so funny. We love so working with funny. her. We love her sense of humor. She's a little dry. She's, she's hilarious. very dark she online. She smells like shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. she does smell she like stinks. shit. That's been a running joke in our family for years. Oh, our social media woman that we have God, hired. Love her. Been Sorry, fi- Brie. I know you're Sorry, tweeting Brie. about this right now. Sorry, Brie. See, see you at Thanksgiving at both my dad's house and then later her and mom's house. Our mom's house. Yeah, both <laughs> families just. Switch houses halfway through the meal. I'm loving learning all about this. This is great. Thanks, guys. I will say I love Bree's uh, humor online. I feel like she, her tweeting and replying as Swedish Fish is so fun. Yeah, we were really going for a Wendy's thing. We yeah. We were going for a Wendy's I saw a tweet thing yeah. where she tweets as the Swedish Fish. Yeah, I saw like, her ye- yesterday. It was so funny. A kid said, I hate Swedish Fish. She said, go kill yourself. It was hilarious. It was, it was yeah. really she's She has nuts. a really unique sense of humor. And you she's, look at it and you're like, oh, you're actually really funny. Funny. No, she she's so funny. Like you know, that. in the '90s, before um, she started, she was do- when we she first she, started. She started the '90s, <laughs> then adapted to online. That's great. So when she was working earlier, she was um, doing more of a Ben and Jerry's type engagement, where she was using the yeah. fish to to do some political to do change. Good. Right. To do good. And it was like, don't listen to Reagan. And we were like, this isn't the fish. In the no 90s. numbers. Don't listen to Reagan. <laughs> In the 90s, because well, I remember Reagan had done was... a lot of bad in the 80s. And he, and he, was, so still the he was still talking. He was still, still, still talking. Gab, 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 gab. And Bree was working really hard to go with Ben and, and Jerry. And also, she smelled off. like shit. Yeah. Still. Keep in well, mind, she she's smells really like a hog. And she's funny. And she's really funny. And I just, I think she's, when I got to know her, at first I was a little like, oh, she's kind of hard to figure out. It's kind of a nut, tough nut to crack. Mm-hmm. And I think she's really funny now. Yeah. So hashtag go team. Let's hashtag talk about the movie. Let's yeah, talk so about the, the nitty gritty. Let's, let's talk about the freaking down. movie. Let's the talk about all our cast. creative team. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. We're, yeah, we're just really thrilled to unveil this because there has been a lot of buzz about what this movie is going to be about. And so we're really excited to talk mm-hmm. about this here on this podcast for the first time. Exactly. It's a huge exclusive. And just before we get into it, you know, movies like uh, Inside Out, which, you know, really help kids adapt and understand their emotions. Movies like um you know cars which help kids like grab the idea of loss helps kids drive it helps kids drive drive. we wanted to aim for something very similar kind of like that angle 
you know, in our movie, we wanted to add something that could teach kids something about themselves. Not exactly. This. So Swedish Fish is about uh, a little fish named Lil Fish, and he is a sassy young guy played mm-hmm. by Chris Colfer. And from yes. Glee, we love Chris. He we is a rock star. We love Chris Absolute at Swedish Fish. Star. He did things I could never think possible he for anybody to do. He is hilarious and funny in his own way, like really funny when you get to know him. <laughs> <laughs> and really, in his own way, I mean, he is so funny in his own way. <laughs> so funny. And you He's know what? So he can sing. The kid can sing. I mean, sing. they didn't put him on Glee for a reason. And you I'll know tell what I mean? The way the kid sings... Has this weird knock knock jokiness to it, and yes. it's so yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, he's it's, a good in singer. Own way, in his own it's way, it's really funny, <laughs> really really funny good guy, singer and really funny. And his motion way. capture work for a Swedish Fish movie. We did use so we used the yes. Unreal machine. We used uh, AD, uh, We used uh, VR uh, mm-hmm. to capture all of this motion capture, and it looks really good. Looks you know, we really didn't just good. do cheap animation. We didn't farm it out. It's kind of like we wanted to do uh, animation, the mix between animation of something like you know. Like something like Finding Nemo and the animation of something like Cats. Yeah. So we combine them both, and the fish looks very realistic. And can yeah. I say, yeah, I mean, you guys, you know, <laughs> it looks like a real Swedish fish. But it's yeah, red. It really does, and you can definitely tell it's Swedish. You can tell it's Swedish, and you can tell it's a fish. It's almost like a cod of some cor- <laughs> sort. And you guys, we came to you guys, and we said, "Look, this is going to cost us a little bit," and they said. We want to spend more. I said, put it all on red, which has been our family's <laughs> joke love, for years. Truly, joke. we joke about it all the time in both households. In both households. <laughs> okay. So it's about Chris Colfer, Lil Fish. Lil yeah. Fish. Lil Fish. And he doesn't quite fit in no. with the other fish. No, at the school. not at all. So he doesn't <laughs> fit in at the other schools. Well, that's because he's red. And he's red. And all the other fish are also red. But in a different way. Mm-hmm. In a different In a different hue. vibe. You know, he goes on a wild journey where he meets all sorts of other delicious looking sea creatures and finds out that the validation he needed was inside. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing cast. Grandma (laughs) fish. (laughs) We have an amazing cast. Maggie Smith paying grandma fish. Yes. Al Pacino as the puffer fish. Al Pacino as the puffer. Francis McAdormand. Yeah. As the shark. <laughs> and of course, and of I course, can't, we cannot miss this. I can't believe we got her. Addison Ray as Fish Girl. Fish Girl. Fish Girl. And that is, of course, a big thing that we pushed for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That you guys were a little hesitant on. We at were first, definitely hesitant. You guys really seem to love her. We, love fish, a- we needed a half human, half Swedish and fish in there. We needed a girl boss because she's a mommy's girl. I'm a daddy's girl. And. Um, we like we we needed that we needed that. We well, let's not forget that. about also another huge casting: James Corden as Star. Oh, Fish. how could oh. we forget? And his big number. I, and I want to bring this up. Uh, I am so excited to announce here right now: fifteen original songs by BTS for this movie. Huge. Fifteen. They as, went we all say, out. Finally, we could say it. Um, it's been insane when we signed that deal. Mm-hmm. And I those boys it. are fast. I mean, we would get very them fast songs runners, and we would get them premises, and then they would send them on back. They are a machine. Yes. Though. Absolutely, send them on machine. Back. And, and I hope I'm not saying anything too crazy here. They actually sent us 55 songs. We're only using 15. Mm-hmm. They get them out so fast, and uh, I mean, more for the sequel. Yeah, more for the sequel. Well, exactly. Let's talk about some of the songs that got cut, like Swedish Fish Blue. Which we said they're not blue; they have to be red. Yeah, they're not blue. Unfortunately, that was a brand no. That you know, we well, that went straight with, up yeah. to daddy. That went straight up, and that to went daddy. straight up to mommy, and, and straight daddy, up to mommy. So you, daddy and mommy are both sick in bed. So brand stuff at this point, we are like really coming into the CEO. Yeah. We're yeah. like both COO, um, but we are really coming into that yeah. um, as and our parents. Yeah. And you're crushing, by the way, both thank of you. Thank you, mm-hmm. you. Yeah. thank you. We're about thank to you. we're about to get there. We're just waiting for the go ahead to from mommy and daddy to take over. The go ahead, meaning nature taking them. But in mm-hmm. the meantime, we are both the co chief executive officers of the Swedish Fish 
media franchises. Yes. So uh, we are Thank very you. proud Thank to you, take that Thank on. You, um, Can I right jump now. to something else that I really wanted to bring up, which I think is going to be really interesting? There is a big, big, big theme here of the overpollution of the ocean. Kind yes. of half of the adventure is little fish traveling and figuring out how to clear out trash from his home. Thank you, Doug. And I think that's another thing that wooed us in that meeting because, mm -hmm. Doug, you were the one that went on a huge whim, went out on a whim, mm -hmm. and said that you studied abroad at, aqu at an aquarium in Texas. I studied abroad at an aquarium in Texas. <laughs> I was at, I'm, a, I'm Canadian. So I studied abroad in Texas at an aquarium in the middle of Tucson. No, sorry, in the middle of Dallas. Not anywhere near an ocean, but it was a yeah. fantastic experience yeah. for me. I love to hear Doug's point of view. I mean, we've made a couple really uh, interesting <laughs> indie movies about his experience being a foreigner in America, mm -hmm. but you know, Canadian. It's really a gritty perspective. It's a really perspective amazing stuff. Yeah. We're not doing any of that kind of stuff in no, this movie. No, definitely not. And, and you don't even need to, you know, that's that's other no. stuff. As we can. say, there is no nationality of Swedish fish. Nothing. <laughs> no. They don't see color swedish fish do not have any sort of color they are not affiliated with any right. country Nation. <laughs> swedish fish don't come from a country swedish fish is a state come of from mind the heart. it's yes. a state of mind i mean look at us we're not swedish we're not no. swedish we well never technically happen. you are swedish and you are fish yes well, that's my dad's name <laughs> but right. like a uh, right. country but like what nationality is what is a rose by any and other name, name would, would smell, smell swedish, swedish fish, fish. <laughs> totally <laughs> that's hilarious that's good <laughs> we should have put that in the movie that is really good we did well it's in the movie. <laughs> I'm glad you did. We did surprise you announcement. You liar, Doug. That is in the movie, actually. That's that a post-credit scene. Yeah. That was, can, I, can I also, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I do want to thank you guys for letting me and my sis come in and do a couple lines. We I, love uh, to play lines. a couple fish. Well, you guys actually had big moments as uh, Frilly Fish and Big Big Tuna. And I, and I, um, I'm. I don't get why I was big, big tuna, and my sis got to be frilly fish. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think sis. I think it's just a vibe thing. What I've... the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. We have a lot you of fun when we're putting you stuff kill together. Me. Oh. We have a lot of fun when we're putting stuff together. Mm. Okay, they're we all they're yeah, making like high some high. hand motions right now. I don't know what that means. I want to talk about something really exciting. Oh, they're pivoting. They just spin around in their chairs. Look at that. <laughs> Let's talk about the pollution. They're magicians. Um, oh, in the movie. Oh. Oh yeah, the toys are gonna be the so. The toys are gonna fun. be fantastic. Oh, oh, the let's toys. talk merchandise. Burger we are King, so excited. look out! Yes, Burger King, watch your back for watch this one. Watch your back because the McDonald's <laughs> Swedish fish menu. Burger King, watch out because these Happy Meals just got a lot happier. <laughs> these We're making toys specifically for the Happy Meal at McDonald's. This and is a funny little quirk we're making. They're all plastic. <laughs> they're all non-biodegradable. They are non-recyclable. Oh, <laughs> look out, Burger King. And they are not edible. And that is a choice to show people how much of a problem that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How it, much we don't like that. We're trying to add to it to show off how big the problem is. Yeah. And I want to say you guys are, it's so funny learning these kind of independent, quiet, cultural things within corporations. Yeah, independent, you, quiet, for sure. You guys have like very specific feelings about Burger King. Brenda, I think you have a lot about Brandy? that. Brandy. 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 No, I um. Brandy, you have you a lot of that. Yes, no, and it's a, it's something I am working on with my family and my mm -hmm. PR woman, mm -hmm. um, to not be so vocal about those things. Mm -hmm. totally. You post a lot about Burger King, no, yeah. um, because well, it, they're well, they're dirty little bastards. <laughs> okay. okay, what happened? <laughs> they're dirty little slimy little bastards, and my sis helps me let it go. Mm. Yeah, Brandy. If we if we just breathe on it, if we just think about it, I mean, I don't think Burger King um, meant to hurt you personally in they any didn't. way. They yeah. didn't. And thank you, sis, for calling me out and bringing me back to. Reality. Of course, of course, of course. Because what we really have that's special is our company, right? And you comparison totally, you guys, is the enemy of joy. Yes. If we, if I Swedish just, Fish is comparing itself to Burger King <laughs> all day long, we're never going to be happy. And you guys are, you know, completely different companies. It's, it's like, it doesn't it's, feel like it sometimes. 
<laughs> it's it's so hard mean? not to compare. It's so hard, you know. It's like comparing us to a pet boy, sis. We're different companies. <laughs> no, sometimes it's so hard. Comparison is the thief of joy, folks. And I mm. have that written down on all my journals. I have it written down everywhere. And I'm you so- really have it written down so much in a way that is concerning. It's so hard for me not to compare myself to Burger King. Um, because our little company, Swedish Fish. I sometimes I see what they have and I wish we had it. Mm. I wish we had drive throughs for Swedish Fish. You know what I wish I had is the ability to see this movie for the first time again. Wow. Oh my gosh. Let's, so yes. we had the premiere last night at LA Live. It's coming out in 2023. We had the premiere last night. <laughs> It was it was absolutely insane. It's guys. a long rollout. It's, it's a long rollout. You guys rollout. just couldn't wait, but it has to we go through. We couldn't wait, and in fact, I'm yeah. not supposed to announce this until 2024. Mm-hmm. But in 2026, the Swedish <laughs> Fish Ride is opening at Universal Studios. Yeah, yes. Studios. Yes. Pending international success. Of wow. Course. Pending international success, and I mean, it's. I, Going back to LA Live really quick last night, I just want to give a huge shout out to Panera Bread for that incredible spread. That was mm. awesome. That was All the Swedish awesome. fish soup. I love oh my gosh. their that take. That was so funny that they did that. Panera has such a sense of humor. They mm-hmm. are so You would have thought funny. maybe McDonald's would have catered, but really no. really funny. No, McDonald's ne- doesn't cater. No, different. Panera's <laughs> so funny in its own little way. They, it's a very funny company. It's a very funny in their own way. Not a lot they of need a movie. Are funny. Like, they you, need a movie. You look at them and you're kind of like, what's, you know, like, this is interesting. And then you're like, wait, bread bowls? That's really funny. Yes. Like, that's God, the kind of stuff, funny. I think. Oh, for their Christmas stuff, they're so funny. Well, can yeah. we just, we, well, let's just go back to the movie for a second. Yeah. Because yes. I think the fans are itching to hear a little bit more of the plot secrets, wouldn't you say? One sequence I really want to talk about to the fans is the fishing sequence where a couple of the fish get pulled up by nets and yeah. lines. And can we say this? The net played by Jason Momoa. And the line played by John Cryer. Such you the wouldn't ever think between that the two. Yes, you unbelievable. Would never think you that. wouldn't. I think, think we actually have a special sneak peek. I think of we that too. Scene so for- this is Little Fish, Chris Golfer, uh, being yes. netted by Jason Momoa, who is the net, the net, and John and Cryer, who is, who the, is the, line. the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let it roll. All right, let's play it. Um, excuse me, where am I? Hey. You're in trouble, buddy. Get out of here. Whoa, are you a big net? Yeah, I am. Uh, but and no, I'm, I'm the line. Oh, boy. Here he comes. Here we go. You're coming with me, kid. No, no, no. You move aside, little line. It's a net's job to pull no, this bitch up. Oh, come on up with me, little... Wait a minute. Are you kind of an individual? Um, I'm gonna go. Can't yeah. stop the feeling. Did it just dance, 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 dance? Can't stop the feeling. And that was the only BTS song we didn't use. Original BTS song we didn't use. Justin Timberlake's "Can't Stop the Feeling" from the Trolls movie. We threw that one in. We threw that one in. We got him to re-record it though. It's a different. It's different master. It he was, owes the master for this he one. Owes the ma- <laughs> so he's very excited to put it in. Yeah, he was excited to record it his way. We, Without the big troll movie influence <laughs> sort of deciding how he recorded it. Exactly. I think that was another nod to how much we, we the trolls movie walked so uh, Swedish Fish could, could run. run. That's could swim. what we always could swim. say. Could swim. Could swim. Could swim. Could swim. That's funny because of, of the fish. Because of the fish. We love the trolls movie and it actually, I you guys said it's the, Okay, they're twitching. They're twitching again. They're doing um, like third base coach baseball signals right now. It's truly like the catcher slide. and the pitcher. Slide. Slide. Head down, slide. We don't like the Trolls movie that much. We hate the Trolls movie. And you know what? Trolls 4, Trolls World Tour, walked so that Swedish Fish 4, Attack of the Swedes, could swim. Which is going to be a fun little Swedes. Star Wars Attack of the Clones type of thing where yes. all the fish look the same and you're very confused. You guys are going to have to watch the other two Swedish fish movies in order to get up to Attack of the Swedes. Which we've already written, funnily enough. And guys, the message is confusing. Can I Let just say, say and yeah. can, I want to thank you guys. Uh, so much. The fact that you guys have bought four scripts from Doug and myself. Mm-hmm. 
you guys script have... outlines because you do guys a lot of the punch up again. You guys yeah. do tons oh, of the punch ups. We do tons punch of punch ups, up. but it's crazy. You're right. I mean, we have invested so much in you. We're also invested in, I don't know, a year long uh, ad campaign to release this movie slowly but yes. surely. You guys have we changed have our lives one. in immeasurable ways. And I just want to thank you guys so much for Would the. You... When I came out here to Hollywood, I thought I was going to make, you know, small independent films mm-hmm. that express my experience growing up. In a house full of mental illness. Yeah, and me as a Canadian. And you as a Canadian, which is also equally hard. But now that we are just the screenwriters for the Swedish Fish Corporation, I figured out my purpose, and Mm -hmm. it's this. It's this. I don't it's huge. Yes, I, I. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. we were so shocked that you had not been snatched up by the Twizzlers movie. <laughs> we were so surprised, and we were so lucky. I mean, Brandy so and I were lucky. thanking our lucky stars for you because oh you guys, goodness. we wouldn't be anywhere without you. We yeah. were close for the Twizzlers movie. Very close. Very close. It, it was between us and uh, Nia Vardopoulos. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! And they I mean, just beat us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a great have pitch. Any... Have you guys heard what the t- they're doing for the Twizzlers no. movie? No, yeah. it's, it's my big pet, fat Greek Twizzler. It's so Nia Vardalos. So walk walk me through that. Nia Vardalos. I'm sorry, Nia Vardalos. Yeah, Twizzler Vardalos. is getting married to another Twizzler, but or a Twizzler is getting but married one of to the a Twizzler man. Is Greek to a man. <laughs> what, uh, the thing is, the Twizzler is getting married to a man, but what the man doesn't realize is that the Twizzler has a big Greek family. <laughs> Oh my God! So the Twizzlers are Greek. Yes, yeah. the Twizzlers are Greek. And, yeah, but, but one of them isn't. Can you? Uh, can you <laughs> but one of them is a Twizzler. Can you guys imagine a candy having a nationality? It I just don't buy it. Disgusting. I could never imagine that. Are you it's kidding? Like, that's disgusting to me. We I felt pitched... crazy when I pitched to you guys. We need these candies to have different personalities. And you met but we us. We loved there, it. We right? loved it. Yes, loved to have it. a diff- there. A nationality. Because yeah. we were going to write a movie where all the fish had the same personality. Yeah, they were all happy, and it was happy world. Well, were you guys in the running for that Reese's Pieces Hulu web series? Yes, yes, we were. We were in the running for that. The Reese's Pieces yeah. Hulu. Web it was series? only going to live on social, but yeah. it was Hulu's web series. Yeah, yeah. gone yeah, to yeah. pieces. Gone to pieces. <laughs> About a, a Reese's Pieces family slowly breaking apart. It looked really, 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 really sad. Like, and a, yeah. like we, a kitchen sink drama. We right? considered yeah, we that, for that for a moment, right? I mean, we were we were talking back and forth about what we wanted. There this was to a be. point in the room. There yeah. was a point where yeah. we were heavily um, fixated on this sort of uh, head of gabbler route, mm-hmm. where right. it was just sort of like a Swedish mm-hmm. fish alone. Uh, grappling with her mm-hmm. new found purpose as a housewife, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, kind of a fish out of water. Yeah, situation. yeah, literally, literally, almost a literally. mother courage in her children. Yes, almost wow. a mother courage I, in her children. Wow, I didn't know any of this, and you guys. So you guys are really well versed yeah, in very intimate big. family drama theater. Oh yes, no, yes. I, I mean, we, the, we I, in our. I mean, Hedda Gabler was big in our separate households. Oh God, every like both Christmas Eves, I we knew that Hedda Gabler was going on over there and over here. And I'll tell and you, you it, know, it was read a little differently in the translation mm-hmm. in each one. Exactly. And um, every Christmas uh, since we were like five, what we've been doing August Osage County. Every mm. Christmas. <laughs> every Christmas. That's such a Christmas movie to me too. Yeah, I get yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get that. Well, I mean, we're, we're as we said before, like we're well versed in film and theater and that's why we're so excited to do this that's why because our parents were i mean we'll be honest i don't want to dampen the movie in any way but they were a little skeptical right they yeah. didn't they didn't feel the need for a movie they said we're a candy company what do we need this for and i said you gotta they get just don't the get 2021 you just but, don't sorry get 2023 yeah amen to that can amen i say that. seeing them at la live last night Oh, when when there was a moment of silence as you guys wheeled in their beds and, and i want to them- thank the hospice company for <laughs> I really want to thank, thank the I hospice really want to thank Shady Grove Hospice because really Shady, Shady Grove Hospice went above and beyond. We are actually uh, writing a little web series for them as a thank you. Mm-hmm. We're sending it Just, their way. Shady I love that you're doing that as a thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll it's I'll a say, kooky comedy, right? Yeah. yeah in kooky. its own way. It's funny in its own way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To get a yeah. hospice company to transfer two people to L.A. Live. Um, for a candy movie. Really was just pretty... advent- against the advice of every medical professional. Yeah. But money yeah. is money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys tell us that all the time. And, and I agree. I mean, money really is money. And I've we seen have that. two things written on our notebook. It's comparison is the thief of joy and <laughs> money is money. I will say one, one uh, version of this movie that didn't get made was our version that was kind of like a sci-fi opera. Almost a dune of sorts, which I thought mm. could have really worked. Futuristic society, uh, all fish have turned red and are gummy, and the 
society is trying to survive on it, but they're so hopped up on sugar that they are making rash decisions and they cannot get their society right. off right. And the ground. we were um, very nervous about the yeah. sugar rush angle oh. because for us, sugar is good you guys yes, love the plastic can't, we can't angle, show yeah but hated and I'll say the this, sugar. It, it, sugar. it had a resemble to my sworn enemy burger king they did a weird high Brandy. concept thing with chicken fries their oh, chicken fries yeah they right did a right. high concept right. ad right. I right. Think. Right. sky high and fry sky high Brandy, fry. i think you gotta unfollow them you really i, should. Unfollow you gotta, them, I you think, think you gotta do a google like a like block. a chrome like extension like them. a block yeah. yeah where you don't see burger well it's king good to know anymore. your competitors and i know that they're they, not, they're, they're not, not a direct not. competitor sure. they to us, sure they're not i don't think they are they are because i mean if you think they are then i'm gonna say yeah they are think about the family that leaves church and they go what's for lunch today I think they're choosing between Swedish fish and burger. Okay, you do think I don't, that? I don't think they are. Okay, maybe it's just our family? I don't think that... Yeah, maybe, maybe my family and your family? Maybe that's just the dad side of the things because uh, this has never happened in mom's house. This never happened in mom's house, and I think you know that. I do know that because I'm a part of both homes. So. <laughs> Let's segue really quick into, and just big a big thank you to our animation team in um, Seoul, Korea. They're working overnight to finish this movie on time. Absolutely. They are amazing animators. So how a little bit of the animation process works, a lot of the base animation is done in America at our big studios on yeah, Universal mo Lot. Yeah. And mocap capturing it. And then a lot of the translation, the nitty gritty, is sent to these great animators in Seoul, Korea. And I think they did such a good job of capturing, I think, what Swedish fish taste like in their animation Exactly. Style. You can feel the taste in the movie. Yeah, we and wanted your mouth to water. Yes. Yeah, and yes. we did yes. that. You know, it waters as much as the water that the fish are swimming in around in. And the, what happens, what swimming I find when I eat the swimming Swedish in around fish around is my mouth gets super dry and, yeah. and mm -hmm. almost lacks yeah. water. Yes. It, my, my saliva starts creating extra just because the candy is so hard and dry. And that's something I think they really captured, you know? Yeah, and the, the great thing about our company is that the, the Swedish fish will say, tasting good was never part of the product design. No, no, you can taste that every time you taste it. And you it. can taste it because, it, yeah, as you said, your saliva is working overtime. We wanted a snack that's work. Well, I heard it was actually, they made it, they made the snack as a distraction from the Great Depression. Is that true? That was part of Cats it. Yeah. Out of the bag. That was part of it. That Cats was part of it. Bag. Listen, I think and I could say I think that our family saved a lot of lives that way. Mm. Yeah. It it was a part of uh, the way they lived back then to get their minds off of uh, the current struggles mm. yeah. and do some like very, you know, like very tedious struggles. Yeah. God bless you guys. You guys are honestly, I would consider you American heroes. Yeah. Because who knows? I mean, if and maybe if our grandparents didn't survive the Great Depression, who knows if if you would be here or if, you, yeah. or if we would be here if, or you would probably be there because you were Canadian and I don't know what was happening up there. No, we time. were we were fine. We were oh, okay. unaffected. Okay, actually, better off. Better off. Well, that's great. Well, they, cheers. They I'm call, glad we'd they have call, you regardless. They call Canadian Depression uh, January in Toronto because <laughs> we're sad up there it's actually it's, something we yeah just it's with. cold oh. and seasonal depression oh wow. okay you know it's chewing just... a swedish fish is kind of like bark at the beginning and then snot at the end it's such an experience to, st <laughs> to say, that, say that one say more that time. again so chewing a swedish fish you start it it feels like you're chewing bark you know like a soft like from a tree oh, oh, like, oh bark. yes 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 and then at the end you basically it feels like you're chewing your own snot you know <laughs> Like you've accidentally <laughs> sucked in too much snot from your your throat and you start chewing it. Oh, got it. Got yeah, it, got we it. can't stray too far into um, that territory. We uh, can't describe much. We can't have our product and snot in the same sentence and yeah. especially not at our press junket because um, as we were saying before, this is a great movie. We Such love movie. the Swedish Fish God, movie. We love the Swedish Fish you movie. you got to come out to see it in theaters 2023. This is a little preemptive. Watch this in 2023 mm -hmm. for sure. And we forgot to mention the big side characters that we've introduced in here. Uh, they are going to be featured in the Universal Studios ride. Yes. The Gulpies. The Gulpies. The Gulpies. Gulpy Guys, Insanity. The Gulpies. Uh, Swedish Trish movie Gulpy Insanity is coming to Universal Studios 2026. Yes. Gulpy Insanity. 
And the gulpies are so great because the gulpies don't make any noise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They I don't. Know. So That's they what makes translate them great. language. And you guys can go ahead and describe what the gulpies are because you guys put them in last minute and didn't let us know. We were until really. We, started, we found really, out last night. Yeah, we found we out went literally in, last night when we went to go see it. We went into the Google Doc and we like yes. went. And we wrote all our scripts on Google Doc, by the way, which no, is the only way that. we do that. Those are the final scripts we sent. We're all on Google Doc. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. made them. We made them put it on the Google Doc. And I appreciate yeah. you guys for doing that. And but thank you for doing that. Thank you for humoring us. But we learned, we learned that rich people do have a tendency of changing everything in the last minute because we think it's possible. We think everything is possible. And it is. Mm. Turns it out is. it is. Because the gulpies, they're these little guys. They're these purple little fish. And they make sort of these noises that go like, <laughs> they sound exactly like that because you guys did the voices. Mm-hmm. The last second. Yeah. Cats out I of the bag. Also, is charged. Speaking of this, Cats I really would love to talk about, you know, you give credit where credit is due. Some of the punch-up jokes you guys made and changed without us really knowing were some of, for me, highlights They last were night. so funny. You guys are so funny. So good and so funny. You. Way. you know who I Thank also forgot you. to say is super funny? Yeah. Hospice. Yeah. That in company. their own way. In their way. own way. They're actually, when you get to know them, it's like in the beginning, it's like it's tough, and you're like, oh, you're actually, you're actually, actually really so funny. funny, very funny. You're actually kind of funny, and like that's, that's who they what are. Yeah. Makes this team a team is that we find things and people that aren't naturally funny funny. We found this, car- we found, we made candy funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a feat. We made candy funny. There were a lot of times, I mean, a lot of the things that we punched up that we were so excited about is when um, Chris Colfer's character would sort of look at the animated camera and uh, complete a pun. Just the mm-hmm. camera. We just say, you don't have to say animated camera, yeah. Well, yeah, it's well, the it's different the animated camera. camera. You're right, and I'm sorry for correcting you, and I'm really no, sorry No, it's about fine. That. Cheap, so cheap, 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 cheap. Yeah. The camera that's filming an animated movie yeah. is animated. No, you're right. I'm a dork, and I'm actually an idiot. making it animated. I'm a dork. No, I'm a dork and an He's idiot. He's a big dork, and, and we love him for it. fucking loser. We love sorry. him but for it. But you're so funny, fucking oh, loser. Stop. That was one of my favorite moments I saw last night, and I didn't realize it until I saw it last night that you guys had changed. We had written probably three or four back-to-back jokes, some of our favorite jokes. Yeah. And you guys made them better, I think, Here, by cutting I- most of them and only adding one joke. Yes. You guys mind saying that joke again? Oh it w- yeah, it was um it was uh Chris Colfer uh what? why don't we why don't we play what you guys wrote? Yeah, let's play it. Let's play let's what do we a wrote. couple of these, right? We'll do like three or four where you guys play the thing you wrote and we'll play what And we'll play how we punched it up. Well, this is James Gordon Starfish and Chris Colfer meeting for the first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honey, I'm no starfish. I'm just a star. No fish here. You don't see any gills or tails. Just me in the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, you want a round of a clause? <laughs> Check, please, for this one. Let's get him out of the water. Um, I don't think I'm in my reef anymore. <laughs> Listen, kid. <laughs> oh, sorry. And anyway, they cut it. They cut it. Cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we cut it. that. And but then we punched it up to that line was actually um instead of. Why don't you guys play <laughs> it? Just play it. How about a round of um some claps, please? More Swedish fish, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what do you want? A round of applause? Oh my gosh, my gosh. Why would they do that? <laughs> okay, yeah, so we really thought the phrase my gosh was hilarious. <laughs> and we didn't understand your a clause thing. We didn't understand the a clause thing because it's spelled applause. And so we didn't understand didn't what that is. You just changed it to a clap. And these fish don't have a clause. Yeah, well, fish don't have claws. They it's don't have a claw. I starfish kind of have beaks, and so I was thinking kind of when it comes to birds, birds have beaks and claws, and so it was just a little – I'm not going to say it's the best joke, and I wanted to tell you guys actually, oh, my gosh, gosh, oh, gosh, is so funny. <laughs> so and thank the way you guys you. added that. For you. I really thank you. Well, here's really another punch-up. Uh, Maggie Smith as Grandma Fish and Al Pacino as Puffer Fish having that little yeah. fun convo right before they send Little Fish off. Oh, let's play your version. If you don't listen to me, I'm going to blow up. Now, here we go again with your puffing. Okay, your- so we punched that up to, um, if you don't get out of my face, I'm going to puff up like a puffer fish. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh, 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 gosh. And it's 
funnier. It's, it's so really funny. It's really funny. Yes. It's, it's really yes. much better, I would say. Loved, oh, my gosh. It's really, really funny, guys. It's very funny. Good stuff. Can I just say, I mean, you guys should be writing your own stuff. No, no. You know, like, I mean, I, really... we're happy to work on the I script. And without we're so happy. The, I mean, without your structure, I don't know how we could make something like this We're just saying, we're sing. basically just putting act one, act two, act three, act four, act five. You guys are titles. putting a lot of changes in there. Lots I mean, you might as well just take credit. Or you should at least do stand up. You guys thought about doing stand up. No! Oh my God. No! We've thought about no! it. No. We've actually talked about it. But I mean, Ugh. with our schedules, it's a little tough. But we have maybe in the new year. Give us a joke. Give us a joke if you guys are working uh, okay, on it. Okay, so we do sort of a vaudeville thing where okay, we're bouncing we off of each other. Oh my gosh, I'm really embarrassed. Here we go. Okay, which 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 bit should we do? Should we do uh, the one about the um? Should we do the Christmas bit? I love the Christmas. Oh, okay, that sounds hilarious. Christmas that sounds bit. very funny. Wait till laugh at this. Let's bit. do the Christmas bit. Say, sister, you heard the thing about Christmas recently? No, I haven't heard it. So what do you mean about Christmas? Uh, uh-huh. Apparently the tree's up in flames. Kablamo! Oh, club ammo, club ammo. I'll tell you something I want to put up in flames. Oh, that Burger King. Oh, sister, you're obsessed with that Burger King. Uh, Almost as obsessed as I am with Hugh Grant. Oh, Kablamo. sister, you got to stop talking about Hugh Grant. I'll stop talking about Burger King. No, sister. My sister, you better stop talking about Burger King. I want to fuck you, Grant, but I can't because I'm the Virgin Mary. You can't be a virgin and want to fuck you, Grant, when I want to take down that corporation, Burger King. That is so funny. So you guys are doing kind of a vaudeville thing. <laughs> vaudeville thing with different ways. Kind of a... Didn't say, oh my gosh, one time. Very good. No, we don't <laughs> do it in our stand-up. That's the Christmas bit. We don't do it in our stand-up. I'll tell you what, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> So one of a kind. It's, if you guys one went up at Clappers or some really sort of open mic one, one specific like uh, kind of classic joke structure, no, more just saying facts. You guys have no, to I put think that it's up. Really vaudeville. <laughs> you guys have to put that up because I've never seen anything like that. Oh, we got it. Mean, I would have you guys come over. I'd rent out a theater and have all of our friends come and watch it. Yeah, I mean, you Shit, guys really? are so funny. Do you guys do stand up? No, no, nah, not no, not at all. We no. just we are writers. We're writers. We are writers. Yeah. Okay. okay. What, else, what do you guys of... do in your free time? Like, do you have a hobby? Well, I've gotten really into gem collecting. I buy gems uh, online and all sorts of stuff. And I also just built an uh, indoor trampoline in it's my living room. Very so fun, right? In his it. living room. <laughs> It's really fun. That's awesome. To get so to the you couch, you right bounce in. your way. It's been fun. I mean, it's been, I, I can't wait to move out of my one bedroom in Atwater, but it's fun to kind of bounce your way there. Up. You do hit That's the ceilings well, very easily. I mean, easily. for franchises, I think you're ready. <laughs> Here's hoping. For freaking Here's hoping. franchises. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Ready. Here's Cats hoping. out of the bag. Here's hoping. Before we move on, I just want to bring up one thing, and this is going to be a big announcement. We've waited right until the end. Okay. You guys, the very big fanatic fans of Swedish Fish are going to be really excited when they see a couple of special people in these movies. The very, very unknown, special, rare Swedish Fish alternative spinoff candies. The, th- the other candies that fall under the brand. Yeah, It's true. It's a family secret, but in Huge. the factory... Um, in Sweden, where these were produced, uh, <laughs> so they are <laughs> produced in Sweden. <laughs> we we do the media. We outsourced it, not originally. Okay. Yeah, not it's, it's originally. An outsourcing it's just easier okay. now it's just to easier do this. Now. now it's just because it just was the mail was the mail was a mess. Okay. Yeah, the mail was a mess when we were doing it in America. So we decided. And you guys used the mail. Kept going to Sweden. <laughs> the mail. <laughs> Well, we boxes. Even, These boxes we kept using going. The USPS to send. It's yeah, just so the regular mail. These boxes kept going. The factory would mail all the Swedish fish to us, and then we had to send it off individually in little packages to different 7 Elevens and Ralphs. And Both Delsons of our households were you. in shambles. But, but the characters, so we're releasing, we're announcing five different characters in different after post credit sequences and i'm so excited um kind of a marvel universe type yeah of thing to do. if it's okay i want to mention oh, my favorite please the norwegian mice i can't <laughs> wait and also played by james Corden. also yes. all played by james Corden. we're using him a lot he's really funny he's in every really way. funny and in every conceivable way <laughs> 
What are the other ones we're doing? We did Norwegian mice. Yes, we did Norwegian uh, mice. Scandinavian shrimp. Don't forget those. Those are my favorite. Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, those are hilarious because they have these crazy accents. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. the accents it's, sound like anything you've It's Bradley ever Cooper heard. doing a French accent. So. Yes, mm-hmm. upside yes. down. You guys recorded you would him upside think, down. Yeah, you would and, think it's Scandinavian accent, but it but is French. No, no, we decided French is funny. Bradley is a sweetheart, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely He's, sweet. And he, he hung out after... Too and, long. Like, I would say three to four hours. We were closing up. We were surprised he hung out. I didn't know he, he had started something throwing, else to do. Yeah, he started throwing cups away. We were like, you can go. Like, it was re- actually, started to speak off kind of. We no, can it's really Because I don't want to yeah, disparage no, 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 Bradley. No, no, no. I mean, if anything, no. I'm saying it's really awesome. Oh, he's no, really it's awesome. awesome. It's a, awesome and it's helper. funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and our last character, cannot forget, Best Buy presents the cheetah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this yes, is actually. this is the Best Buy cheetah. We're Made in out of lab candy. with them because I will say, um, similar to how you were uh, sort of a, um, uh, you have some issues with Burger King. I my greatest business rivalry was with Best Buy because I'm thinking about a great American family coming out of church, and they're saying, <laughs> "What do I want for lunch? <laughs> do I want to go get some Swedish fish?" Now I know mine's or crazy, do but I this wa- one's crazier. <laughs> okay, or do I want to go buy a big LED 48 inch screen television? Yes, it's that one at Best Buy. Comparison is the thief of vo- joy. Mm-hmm. You're but, right. And we decided I, to join up. And it was I thought it was so because, cool for yes, you guys to join up. And, yes, to, yes. Yeah, and you guys have already extended an olive branch. They sell Swedish fish at Best Buy, which <laughs> I've always thought was crazy. And, that and it's a power play. And it's a power play. play. But let me tell you. That's, you guys are the ones sending them But can I tell you them, that though, that. your house. No, in the mail. That, we send them in the mail. But that is because <laughs> Candy. Candy, um, Candy made that olive branch about ten years ago when she got out of rehab. Oh. Yes, um, it's true. It's she true. she made that olive branch. And she said, "Sis, I'm going to fix this Best Buy relationship. It's We've really gotten nice. so far." And then when we were in pro- production for our little movie, uh, we decided mm. that we would go hand in hand with the Best Buy. Two Cheetah. things. Best and Buy two presents th- yes, Cheetah. and that's so nice that you guys kind of gave him this olive branch. And I know Best Buy's been struggling because they don't have an animal brand. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have an animal mascot, cheetah, and they no. wanted to push one. Yeah. Yeah. So Best Buy's cheetah, and then two. Yeah. Now realizing that you guys send everything in the mail or used to really, really makes the texture make sense to me. It's, yes. It, yes. Feel, it feels like you're tasting something that's been sitting in the mail for God knows we how long. We send everything in a paper envelope, and if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. it yeah. But you said it was broken. <laughs> oh, we forgot one of them. Finnish oh. frogs. Yes, oh. Finnish frogs. Oh, so it's the Scandinavian mice. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Nor- uh, the Norwegian, Norwegian mice, Scandinavian shrimp, Best, Best Buy presents Shia, and the Finnish frogs, frogs played by Zendaya. She is so she good. Is so, and she is so Finnish. She's, she's so, so Finnish. Finnish. It's, I am really expecting a warm reception for Zendaya's introduction into the Swedish fish universe. <laughs> And, and with here's that, hoping for a Finnish frog movie. One can only. I would own. love a Finnish frog movie. Spin-off. I would love that. I would love that. I want to put a trampoline in my bedroom. She she deserves that. She really yeah, deserves yeah, yeah. that. She really deserves that. Well, let's all say maybe one word that describes our Swedish fish journey. Our okay. Swedish fish the movie journey. I'm so excited for people to see this. Um. So my my word would be excited. My word would also be excited. I'm really excited. My word would be excited. And my word would be excited. What? <laughs> so hashtag go, go! To go see the Swedish fish movie in theaters in two years. This has been artists on artists on artists on artists answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. Hashtag go. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Culhane, Angela Giarratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The, ex- the opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood!